All right, everybody, welcome back to Gilly's Guns. Another beautiful day today, and uh, we're going to have a little fun with a Glock 27. If you have uh, seen my last video, you saw this gun. This is a police surplus uh, uh, trade in Glock, and uh, Gen 4. I got this gun at a really good price, and my intention was to buy it and use it as a as a carry gun, which that's what I've done. Um, the uh, Glock 27 is a um, double stack 40 caliber, similar to the Glock 26, uh, well, identical to the Glock 26, only with a 40 caliber barrel. So you get a 9 round magazine instead of a 10, but you can also use the 15 round standard mags or the 13 round uh, Glock 23 mags. Um, so, or I guess you could use the 20, what are they, 27 round for the gigantic sticks? Um, so anyway, you can use any, all those magazines in, in one of these. And that's the advantage of of a uh, double stack, you know, carry gun, one of these little Glocks, baby Glock, get it to focus here, baby Glock as we used to call them, um, is they'll take all of those magazines where the uh, newer tiny Glock 43 or whatever, uh, you know, SIG P365, all those type 9mm uh, handguns are awesome. They're really small, good capacity, but you're stuck with the magazines they've got, at least on a range day. I'm not going to do it today, but I could go out with a larger magazine and blast away um, in times of easier ammunition acquisition, why that was a lot of fun. Um, Anyway, this is your just standard Glock 27. You know, other than the the steel night sights, there's nothing uh, nothing special about this gun. I haven't done any trigger work, nothing to it. It's just a Glock. Um, in my opinion, if you are a fan of the 40 caliber and uh, you want to carry a 40, this is well, really this and like the the VP40 SK, um, I believe they make that model still. Uh, you could get a shield in 40 caliber, but they're a single stack. I don't think they make the shield plus in 40. So as far as I'm concerned, uh, this is your best or one of the best options for carrying a 40. And nothing wrong with a 40 cal. It took me a long time to warm up to them. And then, and then I did, and then everybody switched back to nine. So, whatever. Uh, there's a million, or probably ten million, forty caliber handguns in the United States. So, forty cal ain't going anywhere. But uh, since today is uh, change the time back day, or turn your clocks back, or or screw up your routine day, whatever you want to call it, we're going to set back some time here. So I've got some old watches that don't work anymore and uh, wanted something different for a, for a target. All right, all right, we're back out on the range with the Glock 27. Today we're going to be shooting some of this uh, Federal Champion. Uh, this is a 180 grain full metal jacket, 40. Um, this is from back when uh, I could buy this underground box for like 12 bucks. But uh, see how it shoots. I'm sure it'll still shoot fine. Uh, we're going to be, oh, I'll run a little bit of steel, kind of like normal. Um, I think I'm going to run a, a quick group on this uh, paper target here. And then uh, we got our golf balls up. And I put those little hooks underneath the golf balls so I could hang stuff, and it works perfect for watches. So uh, we'll see how that goes. I think I'm going to shoot the watches and the golf balls from seven yards. Um, I don't know how much better I could do with uh, with that little handgun. I mean, it it uh, it definitely has a little recoil. It's a little harder to shoot than a 32 ACP. So. Um, We'll see. If I get to feeling froggy, maybe I'll move back and see how much I can get. 
uh, the paper target I'll shoot from 10 yards and uh, maybe do another couple other random things so let's get started all right guys here we go sorry about the wind noise but uh, I'm gonna start off at five yards and uh, shoot a little bit on steel and then go to some golf ball All right, we're going to give it another try. See if I can keep from breaking my golf ball stand. So on this watch, I just grazed the edge of it and it shattered the entire face. So that's kind of interesting. Go hang it back up, try again. Check out this target. So there was a group that was, I believe, 15 rounds. Let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 rounds out of that 23-round uh, magazine. And as you can tell, the magazine does have an effect on how you hold the gun. And I was hitting consistently low and left. And uh, uh, when you take away the extra magazine weight in the grip and put in a flush fit mag um, I'm still hitting low and left probably just my grip but it would be limited to about this area and not clear down here so just to give you kind of a reference and uh, we're definitely golf ball worthy with that little gun um, got to shoot some golf balls and and it did take out the watches but you'll notice my golf ball stand has a couple extra uh, well, at least one extra uh, hole in it here. So I found out how well PVC works with uh, 40 cal. And uh, the funny thing is I patched it right there with a coupler. And then I came back and shot again and I blew the coupler off. So for whatever reason, that's a consistent point of aim for me, a point of impact. And uh, I'm going to have to come out here and glue in another coupler but uh eh, that's the beauty of pvc that's like 50 cents worth of pipe so not out much but anyway let's go ahead back in the house where the wind's not blowing and wrap up our video all right guys back inside uh well it's a little windy out there so i uh, decided to wrap up in here um as you can see uh Definitely rolled back some time today. Um, this one was completely gone. The watch, I think I actually drilled it dead center because it just disappeared. I'm hoping I can see it in the GoPro footage. But And this one I clipped up here at the top edge, and it just took the lens out. And, eh, not not quite what I was hoping for, but we might have got some good shots. We had a, I had fun today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, this little gun's fun to shoot. 
I can feel it in my hand. So if this was a single single stack 40, I think it'd be kind of hard to shoot. But being double stack and being wide, it was it was pretty nice. So uh, there's the the ATS mag I took out and shot the group with. Um, this is a, a 23 round 40 cal mag. So as you can see, it does affect the way you grip the gun, and it affects your your uh, point of impact whenever you're shooting with one of those big, big magazines. So anyway, lots of fun. Appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you on the next video.